Buenas, uh, it's in half a day, manana sidzuas to each and every one of you. Many of God's blessings uh, for being here today. I, I want to say first, uh, thank you for giving me this blessing. Before I do any formal introductions, I was asked by my daughter, uh, Rose Sharon, uh, to see how we can recognize one of our, you know, folks in the, in the Coast Guard. And I said, I'd be honored. Without even saying a name, I said, I'd be honored. Because for me, the Coast Guard has been very, very good to me. Though my husband's retired in the Air Force, my son is in the Air Force, I know that the Coast Guard has a very, very, very special place in my heart. And also for the former Senator Mary Torres, because we had a lot of communications uh, with the Coast Guard. We were able to do several legislations, and uh, we were just very excited to, to see how the, you, as the Coast Guard family, continues to protect our island to protect the mission, but more importantly, the EEZ zones around our area. Um, you guys do it, you guys do it so well, and I want to say in Maasi. So Captain Simmons, uh, Commander Sickles, uh, Lieutenant Commander uh, Isgumar, thank you so much to the Hofschneider family. Uh, thank you for being here to the Coast Guard family. Thank you for being here in your blues in full force. Uh, I'd be remiss uh, if I didn't mention uh, who's um, listening to this presentation this morning. I do have Senator, uh, my, my colleague uh, from CNMI, from Saipan, Senator Hofschneider. Manana Sidzuis, thank you so much for being on. And also to the Tinian delegation, that is listening via Zoom and live stream as this uh, presentation today is going to be live streamed. So, um, Senator Jude Hofschneider, Wendunkulana Sijuas Maasi for helping us make this happen. And if I can hear you, if you want to say a few words before I start, please, Consigia Motna. Hi, Alfred, uh, and Buenos Dias, Madam Vice Speaker. I would like to. Uh, First, thank you for uh, sharing this uh, uh, opportunity for some of us to dial in. Uh, as uh, you mentioned earlier, there's uh, uh, several of our constituents and our families and our friends throughout the Mariana Islands that have dialed in to be part of the U.S. Armed Forces. And uh, I'm on the family side, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful and I'm very proud of uh, but Freddie, uh, for all his uh, accomplishments uh, over the last few years. And then I wish him all the best on his uh, future uh, assignments, uh, wherever the Coast Guard uh, take him. And equally, I wanted to uh, express my uh, my salutations and half a day to the families that are there present in your beautiful chamber and the Coast Guard family. Thank you very much again. Buen Pobetsu, Senador, thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me uh, for this uh, presentation this afternoon also is um, Senator Roy Canetta, one of our newest members of the 37th Guam Legislature, and I'm truly honored that he's with me here today as we wanted to make sure that we extended that warm half a day to our Coast Guard family. And to the honoree, and I know his wife Monique is here, thank you so much for accepting us to do this resolution for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, Buenos and half a day. Good afternoon to everyone joining us here in the public hearing room and those in the li uh, listening uh, in at home via our legislative channel and the YouTube live stream. Uh, I also want to recognize um, our colleagues and friends from Tinian and the Northern Mariana Islands for joining us uh, via Zoom. And I want to thank the legislative uh, staff for making the accommodations. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for making the accommodations for them. Ladies and gentlemen, with us today, we uh, are service members from the U.S. Coast Guard to recognize one of their, their very own and someone from the islands as well. Um, it is always a pleasure to recognize our service members from the U.S. Coast Guard, as well as all the work they do to keep our oceans safe from Palau to the Marshall Islands, literally all the islands within the Blue Continent. 
Uh, with that being said, on behalf of the Guam Legislature, we present uh, resolution number 105-37LS as introduced by uh, myself, uh, Vice Speaker Tina Rose Munya Barnes, and also Senator uh, Roy Kanata, uh, Senator Joseph Augustine, and the rest of the members of the 37th Guam uh, Legislature. Ladies and gentlemen, this is relative uh, to recognizing Lieutenant Freddie Antalon Hoff Schneider III of the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Oliver Henry WPC 1140 Coast Guard Forces Micronesia Sector Guam and commending him for his dedicated service in protecting Guam and the region's um, ocean waters. Be it resolved by Imina Trentai Shetty Nales Latutan Guam, the 37th Guam Legislature, whereas Lieutenant Freddie Antalon Hofschneider, the son of the late Freddie U. Hofschneider Jr., and Renetta R. Hofschneider is a native of Tinian, and I know uh, his mother's here today, uh, and um, as a native of Tinian of the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, CNMI, he has earned his commission as an officer of the U.S. Coast Guard Academy in 2013. And whereas Lieutenant Hofschneider holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Operations Research and Computer Analysis from the U.S. Coast Guard Academy and a Master's of Science degree in, in, indus in Industry and Operation Engineering from the University of Michigan. Let me put my glasses back on. <laughs> Whereas Lieutenant Hofschneider's first assignment was serving as a deck watch officer aboard the U.S. Coast Guard, uh, which is the USCGC, uh, Astatig WPB 1337, home ported in Opera Harbor, Guam from 2013 to 2014. And ladies and gentlemen, I will say I did tell uh, um, Commander Sickles that if I made mistakes on the acronyms that please forgive me because, <laughs> yeah, he's writing them down. Uh, other uh, subsequent uh, float assignments include serving as the assistant operations officer aboard the USCGC James, the WMSL 754, home ported in North Charleston, South Carolina from 2014 to 2017. As, and as the operations officer aboard the USCGC Vigilant, WMEC 617, home ported in Port Canaveral, Florida from 2019 to 2021. Also joining me, uh, colleagues, is Senator Chris Barnett. Thank you so very Viva much. <laughs> Viva! <laughs> and most recently, as the commanding officer aboard the USCGC Maui, WPB 1354, home ported in Manama, Bahrain, from 2021 to 2022. And I'm gonna go ahead and ask, since I have got a couple of the gentlemen here, has, have them help me read this before I do the final presentation. And ladies and gentlemen and the listening audience, I did wanna read this resolution because it just goes to show how a local boy can come and serve, our, serve not just our people, our islands and our islands and our country and all the work that he's done in the years that he's been in. So Senator Roy, could you read the next several paragraphs? Right. Whereas Lieutenant Whereas Lieutenant Hofschneider also completed an ashore assignment as a manpower requirements analysis team leader at the Manpower Requirements Determination Analysis Branch Wildasalot. CG one four one B four one located in Millington, Tennessee, he was selected to serve as a program reviewer at the Office of Budget Program CG-821, located at U.S. Coast Guard Headquarters, Washington, D.C. Whereas Lieutenant Hofschneider's military decorations include meritorious service medal, two Coast Guard commendation medals, a commander's letter from commendation, and multiple unit and team awards. Whereas Lieutenant Hofschneider had has also received several operational accomplishments in his career from June to July of 2022 during the CNMI patrol. He patrolled 2,300 miles and nautical miles within Guam and the CNMI TTW, providing over overt presence coverage following increased illicit migrant ventures. Embassies charged D fares and D-14 commander participating in two school com comrades 
and meeting numerous key stakeholders, military and government, and completing four under, completed four underway engagements to include embarking PNG Defense Force ship riders for at sea engagement, Joint Patrol and Australia with Australia Border Force and Torres Strait and PASEX and HMAS Mville, Melville, HMAS Wollongong and RFNS Venaka. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry for ruining those names if that's your ship. Um, uh, whereas during Operation Ramatau, October and November 2022, Lieutenant Hoffner patrolled 1,931 miles, nautical miles, across the high seas of FSM FEZs. He off offloaded 1,500 pounds of, of donated supplies to communities of Yap, Ul Ulithi, to include 150 PFDs. He executed the first ever FRC port visit to Ulithi, Atoll, and Yap, FSM, and conducted KLE with Yap's Council of Traditional Chiefs, the Council of Pilong. Pilong. He completed SMEE with 70, cadet, 70 cadets and faculty from the FSM's Fisheries and Maritime Institute. He conducted three seat Coast Guard recruiting events and included two high school visits and hosting 65 aspiring recruits for ship tours. And he participated in Yap's Road Coconut Day celebration as an honorary guest and whereas during the Operation Matau in November of, and December of 2022, Lieutenant Hofschneider executed LE operations in MSST Honolulu detachment, resulting in completion of seven RBS, four UPVs, T, I mean two CPV boardings, and four warnings issued. He validated proof and concept operations in NSWC SBT 22 to include successful comms exercise integration of the USN Puma UAV into. Coast Guard. Sorry if I screwed up your acronyms. <laughs> That's a lot of acronyms. Hopefully I got the easy ones. Uh, Lieutenant Hofschneider executed the first ever SRC port visit to Tania and CNMI, and he completed two, not one, but two SMEEs with 12 officers from the CNMI Customs and Biosecurity and five officers from the Tania Department of Public Safety, Boating Safety, he conducted three Comrels in Saipan and Tinian to include hosting 68 students from the Tossi the Table nonprofit organization and the Tinian Typhoon Association. And he supported G, uh, CGRC initiatives to include a swearing in ceremony for two Coast Guard recruits and a follow on FAM ride from Saipan to Tinian. And whereas during Operation Reptile from December 22 to January 23, Lieutenant Hopper patrolled. 1,167 nautical miles within Guam and the CNMI, measuring the waters. He completed seven RBs, two UPV boardings. Wait, did you read this already? No. Oh. Resulting in one termination and two violations issued. Uh, he provided coastal SRC coverage in the CNMI during six high surf advisory days. And in February of this year, he supported a CGFM SG Intel tasking by gathering visual information on AGI operating northwest of Guam. And he completed four port visits in Saipan, Tinian, and Ulithi and Yap State FSM, and the first ever FRC port visit to Woliai in Yap State. Lieutenant Hofschneider offloaded 4,540 pounds <laughs> of donated supplies to Ulithi and Woliai and completed four Comrels in Tinian, Mogmog Island, and Falalop Island of Ulithi and Falalop Island of Wolie. And during Operation Rai Balang in March and April of 2023, Lieutenant Hofschneider patrolled 5,000 plus nautical miles throughout a 30 day expeditionary patrol across the high seas and EEZs of Palau and FSM. He executed 14 boardings, nine were Western and Central Pacific fisheries conservation, and five were U.S. Palau ship riders, yielding 13 potential violations and one potential serious violation. He completed four port visits to include validating hub and spoke model with three port visits to Karor Palau. He conducted six engagements coincident to operations to include a PASEX with FSS Tosiwo Nakayama, a SMEE with PSS Kedam and four Comrels. And this is probably the hardest part. He hosted 80 students during the Coast Guard recruiting event. And Lieutenant Hofschneider completed CART 
TSTA, OCI, OSI, OTI, clear, and A1A security inspections, yielding flawless results and high praise from visiting inspectors. He led a crew to attain a 99% CART TSTA score, which is a fleet-wide FRC benchmarks. He maintained peak operational readiness with zero unscheduled Charlie days. He completed four ODMS packages, and he has had exceptional advocacy and response to five mission-degrading casualties. Lieutenant Offschneider served as the Lone Cutter representative during the final planning meeting prior to implementation of the Enhanced Shiprider Agreement, and he aided in the development of operating procedures and QRCs, and his change of command from commanding officer of the U.S. CGC Oliver Henry WPC 1140 will take place on May 19, 2023. Thank you, Senators. <laughs> Therefore, be it resolved that Imina Chuntai Shetina Lieutenant Guahan does hereby, on behalf of the people of Guam, recognize Lieutenant Freddie Antalan Hofschneider III of the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Oliver Henry WPC 1140 Coast Guard Forces Micronesia Sector Guam and, and commend him for his dedicated service to protecting Guam and the region's ocean waters, and be it further resolved that the speaker certify and the legislative secretary attest to the adoption whereof, and the copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to Lieutenant Freddie Antalan Hofschneider III and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero Imagalan Guan. It was duly and regularly adopted by Imina Chuntai Sheti Nalasaltura Guahan on the first day of May. 2023, and uh, earlier, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I literally extended the invitation for the Northern Marianas and those from Tinian to be on Zoom today because I knew that it was important that as we recognize one of our own, the accomplishments that he's done and has completed, one that comes to heart for me was I have family, uh, brothers and sisters are adopted from Micronesia in the island of uh, Ulithi, a uh, part of Falalup. And um, having uh, received the call from the Coast Guard to see what we can bring back to the island residents there, I was so humbled. And I want to extend that on Dunkel and Asizus Masi because the Coast Guard didn't have to do it. But they always remember the island people wherever they go. They take it and they take that custom of culture and respect, not just for themselves, but to the island. So I want to say, Captain, I know you're going to lose one, but I know another one's coming up. And as we continue to advocate and protect our waters and our island here and our country, I want to say that I am humbled and honored for what the Coast Guard do does for our people of Guam. And Lieutenant Hofschneider, undunkulu, undunkulu for all your work and your continued work. And I'd be remiss if I didn't at this time ask your wife to join you up here. Please come on up. I know she has the camera. She can give it to somebody to use. And, uh, and I know your mom's here also. Please put, come on up. Join us for the official presentation. And I'm going to do something here with my colleagues. I'm also going to ask uh, uh, Captain Simmons and, and Admiral Sickles just walked out. So, uh, uh, I mean, uh, com uh, uh, commanding officer. I didn't, I didn't, right, Captain Simmons? See, I knew I, I knew I was going to mess that one up, but I, I just want them to join us as we make the official present to you, Lieutenant, and... Uh, Say thank you uh, so very much. And also, uh, Richard, you can join us up here as a family member. Um, Only if you sing. <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of the people of Guam, we extend this uh, resolution to you. We thank you for your service. We appreciate your time here. We know that you always have a home uh, in the islands here. And uh, we wish you great success on your future endeavors. And please make it a point to come home. Sizus Masi and Sizus and Bini DC. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please give him a round of applause?
I know, I know he's shy, right? And he's feeling it, but I'm going to put him on the spot, right? Uh, I'm going to ask him to say a few words to all of you guys and to all those listening from off island, please. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here, Vice Speaker, Senators, Captain Simmons, uh, the Coast Guard family, especially the Oliver Henry crew, um, staffers here, and then, of course, my wife, Monique, and my mom, and my uncle for also joining us here uh, in this, uh, for this special uh, recognition. Uh, I'm very honored and very blessed. I think this is a good practice for what's coming up on Friday for the uh, change of command, but definitely honored and blessed to be here. That was a mouthful to, to, to read, so thank you guys for reading that. But it just kind of covers this past year, which flew by pretty quickly. Uh, that's a lot of miles. I think we would be premier status if we were in United, but <laughs> we, <laughs> we've, uh, we've traveled across, you know, not only Micronesia, but going down to Papua New Guinea and Australia. Did a lot of work, and uh, it's, it's just surreal to think that we did that much. And part of why I kind of forced all of you guys to be here for the crew is to thank you because all of that was, that was written in that resolution would not have been possible without um, your hard work. I kind of helped, you know, maybe plan stuff, but really all the hard work goes to all of you and the, the recognition. So thank you very much uh, for being here and hearing that, but a lot of that is, would not have been possible without you. Uh, to Monique, thank you for holding down the fort. Uh, every time we get underway, it's not easy for anyone. Uh, for the spouses out there, for Oliver Henry, thank you for also supporting us uh, every time we leave for an extended period of time. To my mom, my family, thank you for being here, and of course for all the support. And to just the Coast Guard family, uh, I'm kind of speechless here, but uh, that's a lot, and I, uh, I'm truly grateful for the recognition. Uh, and I know that, uh, you know, to be from the islands, it, uh, to, to be a son of the islands from Tinian, it's, it's just surreal to know that uh, every time we go by Tinian, it just, I look back at when I first was interested in the Coast Guard, never would have thought I would be here to be a commanding officer. So that, that's been a blessing. Uh, it's been awesome this past year. I'm definitely going to miss it. But uh, reading, you know, kind of listening to all the places that we've been to, the Coast Guard has afforded me the opportunity to experience a lot of the culture and heritage that I've grown up on listening to and hearing about. Uh, my mom being from Chuuk and, you know, my dad having roots in Yap. So being able to just extend out and uh, no matter how many nautical miles out there, being on a Coast Guard FRC, we can get there. So it's been a great time. Thank you. Thank you. Please. <laughs> and before we do the uh, official photo, I must yield the mic to uh, Captain Simmons for a few words for his officer and for his crew. Please do me the honor. Half a day, Manasi Zeus. Um, so uh, I'm just going to take your uh, speech and read it again on Friday. You guys okay with that? It's lengthy. Um, it's, a, it's an honor to be here, Freddie. Uh, it's been a pleasure serving with you the last year. Uh, it's great to see the family, um, especially your mom. I haven't met your mom before, so it's nice to see you and your uncle. Um, but you really said it, Freddie, which is that, that everything that was in uh, that resolution that was read by the three senators uh, is a, a testament to the crew of the Oliver Henry and the hard work they've done and to their families, right? Uh, if it wasn't for the families who stay home, as a cutterman, I know how that goes. Um, it wouldn't, none of that would have happened, right? Um, so um, go home, thank your families, uh, and uh, thank each other for holding up your CO. Every one of us walks out. Uh, change of command on Friday is all about the crew. Um, and I'm looking at a really great crew, people I've had a chance to talk with and uh, who've really uh, done a fantastic job serving this region, the Islands of Guam and, and through CNMI and across uh, the whole uh, COFA region. And senators, again, thank you for, the, uh, for recognizing one of our own, one of your own, uh, for a job very, very well done. Um, and uh, Cesar Smasi. Gwen Povetsi. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I will ask just for an official photo, and then I would like to have everybody, 
the Coast Guard family and their families to please join us up here because it's also about you. Not just Lieutenant Freddie, but all of you guys. So we'll do uh, one, two photos, and then we'll have everybody come up. Test. 